Thank you for joining us. I'm Naiba Reynoso. Ahead, fly fishing off the shores of LA County, plus a special Thanksgiving for newly housed residents. But first, Pathway Home, LA County's intensified effort to resolve homeless encampments and connect residents to permanent housing, continues to achieve results. At a recent encampment clearing event in Gardena, outreach workers helped 72 people move out of RVs being used as makeshift dwellings. For those willing to start over, a support team was on hand to welcome them home. Here's more. Today we're here in East Gardena we're doing a uh, Pathway Home RV operation. The goal is to really help people out who are living in these conditions, who have no other way of surviving. And we're giving them an opportunity to really have a game plan. It's not easy out here. I grew up in Torrance and, um, you know, I worked uh, in the aerospace industry. And um, after some layoffs in that um, company, I moved up to the National Park, Yosemite, and worked up there for, oh, probably 15 years plus. One day I woke up and had severe back pain and um, uh, pain shooting down through my leg. I thought it was gonna be exciting at first, just to see how other people live in the motorhome, because I really wanted to take my grandkids traveling. My husband died, and I guess I got lonesome for people, and. I see how it is. Uh, I wouldn't want to wish that on nobody. We do extensive outreach uh, with our service provider partners and of course our sheriff um, host teams. It's a heavily resourced program. And so for these people, uh, it can be very emotional um, and very hard for them to give up this uh, RV because this is what's provided them you know, safety and shelter for so many years. Hey, thanks for your help and time. We appreciate it. Thank you. Pathway Home is a program where we try to do everything we can to help them to, with the goal of, of them having a permanent home. We have a huge team here to make sure that everything that they need from food, even cell phone services, um, supportive services, mental health, and most importantly, housing navigation so they get on their road to permanent housing is right here to greet them when they drive up the driveway. There we go. Well, this will be it, home sweet home. Coming into this this morning, we wanted to make sure that everyone that came in um, felt like they were coming into a home. And we'll see what roads and doors of opportunity open for us, you know. Hopefully this will be a, the beginning of a really good thing. And you just look around and say, How beautiful it is. This is my, I can, I can stay here, I can sleep, I can turn the water on, I, I can turn the lights on. It's heartwarming to know that people still care about you. And they don't even know me, and they, they show that they care. I'm proud, I'm thankful, and I'm not gonna mess it up. And I just wanna thank everybody for this program, because I appreciate it, and I am so grateful. The Department of Beaches and Harbors offered would-be anglers lessons on how to fish off county shores and break free from the urban jungle. We're here at Dockwiler Beach. All right, here we go. All right, you stand right there, okay? We bring out adults, kids, and we bring them out fishing. So what we may catch is, uh, you know, uh, Bart surf perch, yellowfin croaker possibly, maybe even a halibut. So we need to get you some bait, okay? I think uh, my generation grew up fishing in streams and uh, oceans and it's nice to get the kids out of the city, 
into uh, the nature. So it's a free fishing activity. If you're 16 years or older, you do need a fishing license. So this here is the reel, right? What we're gonna do is we're gonna grab it with this finger here, right? We're gonna... We wanna show them how to cast. We wanna show them how to reel the fish back in. It's a good weekend activity for us, or the early morning. Sometimes we do get these nice pockets where the fish will be roaming around, and then, you know, sometimes the kids will catch something. Any tugs? You feeling any fish? No? Let me cast out for you a little bit, okay? I think it's a great idea. We have so much uh, coastline that's wide open. It's beautiful. Get the kids out, have a good time. This is a great way to do it. The Thanksgiving holiday had special significance for formerly unhoused residents who are now on a new path. So today we find ourselves at a master lease uh, program where we have 20 individuals from our East Gardena Pathway Home RV Encampment Resolution program who are actually moving into permanent housing today um, and literally seeing lives change in front of our eyes. Um, we are also seeing behind me an event at St. Joseph's, who's the provider for not just the interim housing placement and also a lot, did a lot of the work on the outreach side to get these folks in. Uh, but they've also pulled together this beautiful meal um, in the spirit of Thanksgiving and on their day of their move-in. Um, and this just shows the level of effort and the commitment that the county has done and our Board of Supervisors have committed to in their emergency declaration on people experiencing homelessness um, to help us uh, really think about these things in a more holistic way and get people off the street and into permanent housing and creating these pathways to home. So I'm really excited um, that this, we were able to see this come kind of full circle from the outreach and interactions and the RVs in which they were living to today. I'm pleased deeply to be able to share some time with these residents and see how they're gonna transition into this new, really wonderful permanent supportive housing space. Well, it's, I'm still in shock. <laughs> you know, it's, it, it's sinking, but it's still sinking in as, as we speak. And uh, it, it's beautiful. It's, it's a good feeling, you know, to, to sit with people that, that, that we're looking at each other from across the street, you know, finally get to sit down and have a decent meal. It's, it came at a perfect time, you know, the holidays. And uh, a lot of people appreciate it. And um, I mean, we've been through a lot, you know, uh, but finally, we, we finally got a place. Thanks for joining us. We leave you now with scenes from a special Thanksgiving feast served up for unhoused residents at Whittier Narrows Park. We'll see you next time on LA County Close Up. This is our annual Thanksgiving buffet that we have every year for the unhoused, the homeless provided here at Whittier Narrows. Our County Department of Public Works works with my office and there are, I think, over 30 different providers here. The Shower of Hope, as you can see, we use mobile shower trailers to bring hygiene services to folks directly to where they are. So after a shower, a person can get a meal, clothing, but more importantly, go and connect to services so they can have a path out of homelessness. To get food, I give them to eat and take showers. Haircut. 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 Free haircut. Everything's free. Changed a lot, you know me. I was out here struggling. Now I'm a little bit better now, you know. I think I got a place to stay. I'm gratified to know that some people have told me that they have now found permanent housing. And many of them have come through this program, got referrals for interim housing, and some of them are now in permanent housing.